Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of My Summer Car. So at the end of last episode, we finally got the car positioned properly. And I am massively tired. Hmm. There may be... We may need, eh. we may need to take care of that first thing, but it does seem to be daytime still. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night again, so I'm just going to push it a little bit. Uh, everything else seems to be okay, and you'll notice that the car is not quite as damaged as it was. So, in in the same vein as uh, keeping it fair, I've I've done something maybe less than fair. There's a specific file that maintains the mesh of this car, and I have removed it. And when I start back up, it works, and it looks pristine. Okay, uh, also at the very end of last episode, whoop, a little bit too far, too far, boom. Okay, so this piece right here, and it's not showing you the name of it at the moment, but it's, uh, I think the steering rack, yeah, the steering rack, uh, that attached to those pieces that I just couldn't get to fit, and the steering column, which is now installed. I didn't mean to leave you guys out of everything, but uh, it's something that I promised I would do before we got back going again, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just a note, if your car is not tracking straight, it's usually that bolt or that bolt listed as a line, and you cannot use a ratchet setup to get that or fix that. Uh, I've gone ahead and screwed these in. Yeah, there's nothing there, but when I go to put the engine in, it'll just fit. Uh, I think I would like to go ahead and see if I can fit the engine in. It may require this engine hoist, which would not be fun. Well, let's see. I don't remember which side is the... Yeah, that should be... I should be looking at the front right now. Should be able to get it just kind of close. And get it in there. No, maybe? Yeah, no, no, definitely not. So I'm just going to leave that there and grab this guy. Yeah, it's a little bit more work since the car is in there kind of weird. But it needs to be done. It's a... Uh, There's no way this is going to go well. Just saying. Let's go ahead and drop this down because that's the only way to get that on there. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, while I was playing around with the sound, I got us some tunes. Let me go ahead and bring this out here with us so we've got some music to work with. I want to set this on the bench back here. Come on. Nope, Ready wrong station. Walk. There we go. And it may be just a touch loud. I don't know. When we're over here, it should be okay. Yeah. So, to get your own music in there, there's a specific folder to put it in. And if you're interested, just drop me a comment and I will tell you exactly, or exactly how to, or at least point you to the article that I used to find it. Uh, just know that your stuff does have to be in OGG format. Okay, that's my uh, post order having arrived, which we took a look at last episode. That's pretty close. Because it, it bolts in, like, right there on that loop. So I need to get the toolbox wherever it disappeared to. I swear, I've already seen it. Today. I just don't know where I put it. There it is. <laughs> Boom. So I'm certain it's not a 7, but you always got to start with a 7. It does look to be a bit bigger. It's not a 9. Is it a 10? Yeah, it's a 10. There we go. 
yeah, just had to get it a little bit close. You can see where it attaches now, right there at that loop and right there at that loop. Actually, that bolt's not connected to anything, but it should be under that loop just like it is on the other side. Okay, I've got to pick her back up. Because we want her to fit into the car. And this is this is going to be dangerous, but I think I'm going to move the car under this because it is exactly as wide as the pit is. And I don't want to lose this down into the pit. Heck, it may not even go into the pit. Actually, as long as I keep that nice and straight. Okay. And lift it down into it. Now that's going to be a bit too far left for it. So I'm going to do the thing I showed you guys yesterday and push it ever so slightly. Actually looks like I can oh the bolt showed up please tell me that's the same size it is not and I don't know how to tell if it's bigger or smaller other than just to guesstimate hmm I would guess that it's bigger it was it's bigger by one oh that's that's weird but okay. Let's go ahead and make sure it's mounted in there securely. And there should be four of these. Hmm, looks like there might just be three. Now that we've got two of those in there, we should be able to... Oh, wrong way. Uh, okay. Go ahead and get that nice and tight. And I don't remember this being an issue last time, but I, I guess I've got to undo these bolts. Okay, that bolt is out. Not entirely sure why I can't move fast. Ho ho! Good, good. Go ahead and get this out of here. That's the only time we're ever going to have to use this is just dropping the engine in. Although, it'd be really interesting to lift the engine or lift the whole car like that. We'll slide this in the back corner. Hopefully that music's not too loud for you. It's just, well... We need a little bit more spice over here. This little... I really don't want to put it there. Maybe right here. Okay. Now this one should be easy, the muffler. I really intended to stop back here. Okay then. Should go right up in here. Oh, there it was. It's in. And it should only need the one bolt. And I'm just going to make a guess here and say that's a nine. It doesn't seem to be a nine. Eight. It is not an eight. Uh, whatever it is here is probably going to be the same for the whole exhaust system. And I know I'm getting ahead of myself by like a lot. 
I'm just so excited to get this put up in here. That was so close. Boom! Okay, we should have that one. None of these other ones. And then right here. It'd be really nice to have the socket set, but I really want my next trip to include picking up the socket set. Well, we've got our exhaust system in. It's going to make putting the brakes and the gear shift in a little bit interesting. But I really want to stop here so that we can go get a ratchet set. But we can go ahead and cut that off. That, that like I said, was a touch loud. Oh, that reminds me. We got to put that belt in there. That just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I'm not entirely sure why that didn't go in earlier, but it didn't want to. Huh. Doesn't want to go in over here either. But realistically, you've got to be able to do this from, well, with the engine being in the car. Because if you can't, and your SOL on the road. I have no idea why this doesn't want to go. Maybe this has got to be all the way in. Boom! It just went on. That means I can pull this out. I have never once heard of it being too tight, so I'm just going to get that as tight as it can go. And stand up tall, and grab my screwdriver. Because once it's in there, should be able to just tighten that on up. And we have an alternator. Okay, uh, so we had a sewage job to run, and let's go take a look at the map. We've got a sewage job in Lopa, which is right next to uh, Fleetari's. The place that you buy all of your spare parts from. And we've got one in Perry RV, which is where you get all of your supplies. Also, did something just did something just break? I swear I heard something break. I don't see anything that broke, but I swear I heard something break. Anyway, I think it may be dark enough or close enough to dark. But I can go ahead and let the uh, let myself take a nap and as always pop that out before bed because I don't want that to mess me up uh. there we go oh being rested feels so much better and it does seem to be early morning good news I'd like to save those for last is there food in here there's food in here there we go took care of that can't hurt to hit myself with some mosquito spray Whoop. Uh, and we've got some sausage up there I'm gonna buy some more sausage when I get to town and I know this may not be the most important thing to you guys but I do need to clean off a bit and yeah, I know it's not beer, but water keeps me going. And this is still, as far as I can tell, the best way to do this. Because you could fill that up and bring it in there with you every single time, and it's just... It's gonna... It's gonna get old. It's gonna get old fast. Having to get... Having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I know it got old for me, and sometimes I was too dirty for one bucket of water, and it took two. And that was just not the best. And I can just count on that being full every time I go back there to it. There we go. Oh, don't need to forget this. Going back where it goes. Top that off, make sure that's still hot. Close that, turn that off, close that that so 
the next step uh, we need to go by town I need to relieve myself but we need to go by town and run those two sewage jobs so that we've got some money uh, we need to get some more food we need to get some more drink and we need to pick up our ratchet set which is gonna make this next bit quite a bit easier and in case you were wondering where the sewage truck is to run the sewage jobs it is over here I didn't feel like carrying all my beer over here to this so I'm gonna get this go back get the beer come back I'm gonna grab at least a beer and at least uh, a case of beer come on let me in let me in let me in let me in there we go okay in driving mode close the door make sure it latches ignition and gas at the same time push and hold till it starts the only way I've found to get this thing to move. Take off the parking brake. Put it into not reverse first. And change range over to high. Because as soon as you're moving, you don't need low range. Even when you're full, you rarely need low range outside of first gear just to get moving. And I think. I'm going to keep this over here. Yeah. Park and brake. I should have put it in neutral, but I didn't. Uh, this'll, this'll do me for now. Whoop. And I need to get at least a food. And I may cheat on this because... Nope. Oh. Nope, where is it? It is right here. Ha! Got my sausage. Boop. And I'm going to kick on the radio. And I'm going to drive to town. And the player channel is way at the end. Not that channel. Reverse. Parking brake. Now I can move. First gear. Even in high, it starts out okay. I mean, that should be the right channel. That could be it. Hold on a minute. We're gonna speed this spot up anyway. Yeah. Don't forget to take a left here because we're going to Lopa. And right up ahead is that corner that always takes me out. And instead of our normal fast route to town, we're going to take a left here and try not to forget to downshift. This guy over here on the right has got a sewage thing, and I think he's one of the guys that asked for our help. A little bit off-roading is in order.
Come up to turn on the hydraulic pump. Get out. Yep, and that's a good good distance there. And it's not totally full. And I'm gonna say this. And you're gonna have to take it with a grain of salt. But I have had good luck that even if even if it's not full, even if they haven't called us in yet, still able to suck the sewage and get paid for it full price. And if you speak, finish. Ignore what he just said, because I know it was a cuss. Yep, and we're just going to sit here and drain that all out. Oh, a lot of it just came out real quick. Well, I don't hear it sucking anymore. And the guy hadn't paid us, or hadn't attempted to pay us. I'm going to wiggle the hose a little bit, see if it's... There we go. <laughs> Gotta be careful, it does like to jump back down the hole. <laughs> so, we're not gonna get paid for this job, and he's not gonna call us back for a good bit, because he's not full. Maybe just wait for him to uh, give you a call. Probably your best bet. I mean, that is the way it was intended to be done. There we go. You grab the end of the hose to put it back. And that is the only way to put it back. You can't grab the other end of the hose or any of the other stuff. That is your only way to do it. You have to get the end that was down in the gunk. Yeah, and this guy's not going to pay us. Uh, it would have been really nice for this guy to pay us because we've got to fill this thing back up. Go ahead and get rid of that hollow hydraulic pump. There we go. Turn off the parking brake. Put it down into one, probably low. Yep. One low is the way to go. Yeah. There we go. Trying to remember the buttons here. G is for upshift, B is for downshift, and R is for range. Keep your eyes on the road. And you want to stay in the low RPM ranges, especially when you're driving your own vehicle because if you don't, it will overheat in a very unpleasant way. I don't remember if this guy's got one or not. I don't think he does. He might. This may, in fact, be our next stop. I'm going to go ahead and position myself and be ready for it if it is. Oh, maybe parked a bit too... Yeah, that's going to be our next stop. Not entirely sure why that back wheel is still moving, but sometimes it does that. Yeah, it's not a good idea to block the road like this because there's that green car that does sometimes like to come by. But, I mean, really, 
That's unlikely, and I'm not in the vehicle. <laughs> it's not my problem. There we go. Self-feeding. It's handy when you're going to start digging the stuff out. Really annoying when you're done. This guy for sure will pay us, though. So the reason I'm not speeding this up is specifically because you guys need to know how long it's going to take to empty a sewage cistern. This should give you a good idea. And it looks like we're getting to the bottom already. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the guy. Yeah. 1200 bucks. Yeah, my guy is super not happy. I mean, would you if you had to empty somebody's sewage cistern? I know I wouldn't be. I think that's the last segment. If not, we're pretty close. Yeah! Put the hose back. And you can, in fact, fall in here and die. And the more stuff you leave in there, the more likely uh, it's going to fill up quicker. Just FYI. And that's how much sewage we currently have. Whoa! Don't know what that was. Didn't like it. Is the parking brake not on? The parking brake is not on. I don't know why, but it sometimes does that when you flip off the... Uh, the uh, hydraulic pump. This guy right here, he's also got a sewage thing that we can check out. I'd rather do as many of these in one go as I can because I don't want to have to come back. Yeah, that's totally full. And you do absolutely have to put that last bit in first. I have tried it, tried to stuff the whole thing in at once, and it does not like that. I'm pretty sure this guy called and I just missed it. And it does like to twist up and get hung every now and then. I could probably move the truck a little bit closer. Just wanted to go back just a little bit. Give myself just a little bit extra hose. There we go. Exactly what I needed. We go ahead and wait by this guy because he'll know before anybody else does that it's done.
I can still hear it going in the background. So I know it's doing work. It's going to cost about 1000 to uh, refill the truck here. And it doesn't start out with a full tank. There we go. There we go. Got a little bit more than it cost to make it happen. I want to say it burns a good bit less fuel when you don't have the hydraulic pump on. Ugh. I hate fighting this thing. And if you're not careful, you will lose it, and there's no way to get it back without restarting your game. Save and exit. So I've been told there's a outhouse somewhere over here behind the guy across the street's house. I haven't yet found it. That's not to say it's not there, but I haven't found it. Put the hose back. Good. Let's see, how much fuel do we have left? A little bit under half, and it takes a quarter tank to make a round trip, I do believe. Oh, just barely missed that guy. Start out in low. And then change range. Harry RV is where we're going. There's another person that needs to have their stuff taken. And then we should be good to pick up our ratchet set. And a few more prov uh, provisions. Okay, coming up on Perry RV. Uh, this guy to our left has also got a sewage cistern, and there's another guy a little bit further up the road on the left. If you take that first left, so this play this route is a very good route. I very frequently find myself running this route instead of the highway now, just because I usually leave when I've got stuff to pick up and when I need to make sewage runs, and that is about it. And that. This road just is so much better for that. And while I've got your attention, let's take care of some copyright stuff here real quick. Uh, I'm probably going to have it all in the description anyway, but the music on the radio is courtesy of Mr. McLeod over at Incomptech and the YouTube audio library. And the other music, uh, the ones that aren't recognizable, don't really have a name, are courtesy of Juke Deck. If you haven't checked it out, I get a lot of my music from Juke Deck because you can make it the way that you want. And you'll have some pretty good music that fits your taste. You can adjust length and all kinds of stuff and make editing this so much easier. And no, I haven't been paid to do this. Um, it's just, it's a good service. I personally really find it useful. Uh, I'm sure there are other things like the YouTube audio library and stuff over there in CompTech that just they have really good stuff. But if you need something to fit an exact length, Juke Deck is the way to go. Oh, and by the way, uh, go in the back roads like this like I was talking about? No police. I can drink and drive all I want. 
Uh, I'm not going to suggest that you guys drink and drive, but, you know, when your thirst is really low, it... Oh, no, not sleep. No. I'm going to be out of fuel when I wake up. I'm absolutely going to be out of fuel when I wake up. That's what I had intended to do. Well, I hope the store's open. Oh, man. Let's get the money, and I'm going to hold off on making the last sewage run. A, because the guy that's going to be there is probably not going to be there. And time is of the essence. I need to get fuel, pay for said fuel, and see if I can get my order before the store closes. And I've got to go through all of this rigmarole. Yeah, you actually have to be grabbed on to that last little bit. Boom, hose back. I'm not entirely sure how much time I lost doing that. But I'm scared to look at the fuel. Oh, we came out okay. I guess it was really just mostly idling. Off to the store. I'll show you guys that other later. And you notice one of the lights on my dashboard has changed. There's a switch right there, rear lift axle. I turned that off, or on, off. I don't know, I lowered the very rear axle. And that, made, that has made me a good bit more stable and able to handle the load. Oh, he has already moved over. Well, I guess it gives me an opportunity to show you something else that I just very recently found out. Other than the fact that this thing can't seem to turn. Kill that, kill that, kill that, so our battery doesn't die. Let's see. I think this takes gas. Doesn't take gas. Does it take diesel? Oh, it's locked. So that's going to give me the opportunity to show you the thing that I wanted to show you. Not that mm, unpleasant person. Yeah, you can totally sneak back here. Yeah, huh? Okay, open up the door. Ooh. I can pay the post order, even though he's not back here. Those two switches? Oh, my ratchet set. There we go. I'll open that back at the house. And that door shut behind me. But, that said... I also hit the switch to turn these on. Is that the right stuff? That is not the right stuff. And this is only going to take forever, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And it only took us most of the afternoon to fill up. There we go. I do need to see about paying up. There it goes. And if I could get some sausage too, that would be great. But it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. Uh, just grab some food. 
I've got drink in the truck. And I plan on buying more here as soon as I get up. You know, I think this music is actually done by the creators themselves. Why did you have to close early? Well, I wasn't able to... Whoa, streetlights just kicked on, I guess. My fatigue is not high enough to sleep through the night. I'm going to take care of this real quick. Yeah, I do think that I'm going to sleep out the night in the back of the truck. It would have been a lot nicer to be able to make the whole trip back, but it's going to be an overnight thing here in town. So let's go ahead and lock up. And I'm going to take a moment to save. By the way, there's a save behind this door. Well guys, I enjoyed making this for you. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.